Sorry? Put in Selvan, I think uh, it's a project which uh, many people tried to do, they couldn't do. And I think Maniji was like, uh, all of us are lucky to do this project. And uh, he risked, the whole team risked their lives during COVID and they shot this one. And I think it's paying off with that courage and the passion and the, you know, honesty. And what. Uh, what can I say, he's my mentor and uh, even though he doesn't like to call like that, he's my mentor, he's like a brother, he's like a friend. And uh, I'm so lucky to have certain people, especially Mr. Manir from my life. Nothing bothers, it's evolution. We just have to appreciate the good and then probably better things which are bad and keep going. I'm so happy to be known for the kind of different soundscape that we've seen throughout 90s, 2000. What do you have to say about the kind of soundscape that you hear these days? There are a lot of good work coming in there, uh, and I wish there were more classical kind of music, those kind of movies like Shankara Varnam or, you know, Sindhu Bhairavi, the South, melody and also concentrating on, you know, Hindustani classical or Carnatic classical. Makers should go more deeper into it so that the younger generation, and take it in a way where it's not boring. Does AI bother you? Does AI bother you? No, it challenges all of us. We just have to use the monster in the right way. Uh, evolve in the sense he constantly updates himself, he watches all the stuff, he appreciates something new comes in, he appreciates that he's open to stuff. Sometimes uh, he takes time and he comes back and said, I thought you didn't like it. No, no. I take time and then he comes back and we give him something very new. So, so how does, how does, so how does AR and what's your pressure? How, how, how do you upgrade yourself? What is your pressure? I, I'm constant <laughs> because, uh, no, I mean, uh, I get bored. So, I, sometimes I don't upgrade. Sometimes I feel like certain things have to be, sometimes I feel like it is need to upgrade. I'm discovering a lot, like I'm in the Nexa Music, uh, I'm the mentor for that and we, that 2000 singers actually, we've selected out of 30 in that, some really amazing voices. No, this is great, I think. Uh, there are no borders, you know, art is art. I think the language doesn't limit what a movie can express. I think that's what it is, and you will see. My main intention to do film music is to make my music travel. So, from the first movie, it was intended. So, we constantly produced it well and, you know, respected the whole world audience, yeah. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hi, thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I'm wearing Krisha Bajaj. Uh, well, it, it was a quick decision actually because my friend is so extremely talented. She, every piece of hers is absolutely stunning, so I can just pick one off the rack and it will be stunning. Ma'am, today we talk about the band and the phenomena. I think much before Bahubali, I would like to believe that Iga was the one film because over the years... I'll take it. I accept. <laughs> so what do you have to say about this band India phenomena? Iga being that one film on television that has become so successful over the years. Yeah, I, I still, even now after all of these years, uh, when people meet me, they still say that, you know, Bindu and Iga is my favorite. So, I'm hoping that I can do enough good work to beat that now. <laughs> I'm still trying to... How does it feel to you to know that you are a part of a series like Citadel that Priyanka Chopra also has been associated with? Yeah, it's great. It's great to be a part of a much larger universe. It's such a unique concept to try and connect, uh, to try and create a connected spy world. Um, the premiere went off really well, so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we are a good follow-up to the world of Citadel. Yeah. Samantha, you are also venturing into sports. Right, I am. You're also launching Cerebral Balls. Yes, I am. Are you nervous? What's the feeling like? 
you know, I always want to be a part of creating things. Uh, that's where my passion lies in creation and being a part of meaningful projects. So for me, pickleball is my dream to get India moving. Uh, I think it's part of that bigger dream. On the work front, what can you tell? Well, I I am I am taking it a little slower uh, on the work front. So I'm currently working on Rakta Brahman, and um, yeah. Which was that one? Something you could tell us about Varun Dhawan. What would that be? That he is, but but that he is actually the sweetheart that all of you think he is. That that's all true. Uh, which was that one performance that made you say, "I wish I could do this," or "I would like to do a performance like this." Uh, I just on the flight watched um, Kate Blanchett and Tar. So, my God. Uh, also, is there an actor who inspires you? You know, to you know, link the life the way they are probably doing. I think a lot of people inspire me. Not just one. I can't. I can't name one because a lot of people around me every day inspire me all the time. So I can't really pick one. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mike. Who's going to ask? Who's going to ask? I have a five-year-old. Ah, Mike. Listen, you're a mother, and you know best, you know. So, uh, no, we're we're all human beings. We're not going to sit and now advise each other or share with each other. There is no book, notebook that we're rule book. We're all born with. Um, so, yeah, you're you're incredible. You do you, and you're incredible with your daughter. So, blessings and love. Yeah. What? Why are you wearing today? Who? I'm I'm wearing an outfit, okay. but yeah. the designer, the designer. Manish Manohar. Ma'am, I want to ask you that you started your career with Mani Ratnam, 1987, yes. 21. 27 years later, we are here for PS2. So, how much have you and Mani Ratnam evolved as artists? Woo hoo! In these 20 years. I have a small thing. I can't even speak about his evolution as a maker because I have respected him, right? He's my guru. So, from the beginning, I just say I'm very grateful that I got to work with Mani Garu for my first movie. And um, it's, I was so honored that he asked me uh, to be his Nandini in Pony and Selwyn. And I'm glad uh, today we as a team get to enjoy the audience celebrating our film. And, uh, and how? I mean, 30 nominations. But having said that, I think it shouldn't stop at 13. I'd, I'd cover everybody, every talent who has worked towards making Pony and Selvan, so that would go into hundreds. And each of them in my heart is nominated, and each of them is a winner because the audience has loved that piece of cinema. So thank you for your love, thank you for your appreciation. Holiday, planned by IFA for us. God bless them, yeah. Yes, yes I have. I, yes. Yep. I loved it. I loved it. And I was telling the makers, I was telling Pushkar Gayatri, I was telling Why Not Studios that they did a fantastic job with the remake. Just felt really proud to have been part of the original and they did a fantastic job with the remake. Yes, yes. That movie is uh, so dear to me, so special. Um, I don't know, sometimes you get so involved in your character, it's very emotional and then you realize that you learn something out of your character and Mitra was one of the characters that I learned a lot from. So, yes. Uh, the recent times that you have watched that has remained close to your From 2023, would be, that would be uh, Sapta Sagar Dache Yellow. Uh, I watched Lapata Ladies recently, which I really loved. Um, did I say that I love Sapta Sagar Dachi yeah. Yellow? I did, right? Because I have to categorically say that I absolutely love that film. Um, what are the other films that I watched? I would mention these. They just came to the top. Yeah. Very, very
studying the piece uh, from uh, Albanian designer, Albania, who made this Merita project. Thank you. Thank you. This has been truly impeccable. I think, you know, I thought so is a night where we celebrate the legacy and the brilliance of Indian cinema and South Indian cinema. Uh, so, yeah, I had a great fortune of working with uh, Balakrishna Garu and he's inside, Chiranjivi Garu as well. Oh, and Kiran Garu, so I got to see him there. Huh? Uh, very soon, very soon, even I want to do it. <laughs> I think I think this, this, this the story, if I say in particular, of MVP 109, which I'm shooting with Balakshi sir, uh, it's a very touching, emotional story. So. Have an eye. Uh, uh, you should you should just see why you want to do that film. And if the character excites you, why not? Okay, last question, I think. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Sena. Sena, Sena. Sena, Sena. Yeah. 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 One hand, we've seen movies like Sahapata Lady doing. Yeah, what an interest. On the other hand, we've also seen movies like Animal doing that. So, what do you have to say about the way the cinema has changed, content has changed, and the taste of the audience? See, we need to understand it's the character that we are resonating with, connecting with. And uh, Ranbir is the same person who did Bhakti as well. Yes. So why not appreciate that an actor can do roles like Animal and Bhakti. So just celebrate films, yeah. Like enjoy. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, maybe next time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. South Indian films and South Indians are rocking, <laughs> and uh, I'm so I'm so proud to be a South Indian first of all. And um, uh, I found some of it's like um, you know uh, it really brings all of us, all the film fraternity, not just the South. Uh, they also bring the North and South. They merge us together. They make it so big. And it's uh, fabulous, uh, and it's lovely to meet all my friends, and some who are performing, and some who are uh, receiving an, uh, awards. So I'm really so happy for them, and I'm I would like to congratulate them. All the best. Um, yes.
<laughs> so people keep talking about their experiences. Fortunately, I've been like really uh, having very, very good experience, you know, in the industry. So I really don't have anything to say or complain, you know. So that's why I'm not really talking. Really sorry, I don't want to talk about that now. Anything controversy? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Can we do it here? Would you be able to get here? <laughs> Welcome. Okay, everyone's fine. So, Rajiv, I wanted to ask you that if there is an all time favorite film of yours that you would like to remake, who would you cast? Yes, and why? How were you so excited asking me this question? <laughs> now, to think, you're asking me thinking questions. Uh, who, my film? Yeah, your all time favorite film that you would like to remake, who would you cast in it and why? Wow, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Who would I cast in it? I think the casting is pretty brilliant by itself. You're asking me? No. Just let's leave that film by itself, but that's my favorite film. All time favorite. Film. Which is that one like, performance this year that's stayed in your mind, like your colleagues or your peers? Uh, man. I think there were. What, tell me the films I've released this year. I'm so sad. Suddenly, suddenly blank. Okay, so um, there was this film called Purangal. Yes. And I think that was one of the, one of the films that really stayed in my mind. And um, yeah. Nerea horror films. Pay experience is one of the um, I mean, it's nothing major, but in your share fund, it's a lot of Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's only been one one experience that so I had. Last year, your favorite film in Tamil and Tamil film? What's your favorite film last year? I just said Kurangal was one of the films that really stuck with me. Thank you. Thank you. So, if you were supposed to ask me a question, I can. That's why I moved it that side also. Then ask me. Better be good. Yes. Oh, I'm wearing Varun Chakilam today. He's a Hyderabad based designer. As a custom made Varun Chakilam. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, it's a custom. Best to Bolu to Ashura Rai, Murnal Tapu. In English, well, um, I've been nominated for uh, Veera Samaretti, so I'm very excited for this. Let's see, hopefully we'll win. So working with Balakrishna, sir? Working with Balakrishna is like uh, working with a ball full of energy, I think.
I thought I was very hyper, but he's much more hyper and much more energetic than me. It was really amazing to work with. So you want to continue as a hero in our video? Because you know, we are going to come. I will continue as an actress. Actress. Well put. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. occasion to be here and I feel very proud to be in cinema at the moment because all the borders have got blurred and it's become only one cinema, one language is entertainment. It's not getting popular. We are popular. <laughs> Not so much, not so much, but now yes, we, we are on par with everyone. It has to improve, we all have to have a dialogue, we have to keep talking to get it all right together. It's not only in films, it's across all the industries. Thank you. Uh, Portal, yeah, Portal is done very well for a small budget film collecting more than 100 crores. It's great, and I uh, wish my director wins all the awards wherever he goes. And it's gone to the awards, national award uh, coming. So let's hope for the best. Yeah, I felt that director was really, it was, uh, you know, the way he narrated the script. I knew this movie will be a success, but I never knew this would be such a great hit. I am um, from actor from Malayalam industry, but I am here for Telugu movie nomination for Gosh, thank you. That's in the future. No, I am uh, today one Telugu movie released, Devara, Junior and Dear. Yeah. Devara is I didn't see yet. Anybody saw? No, we have not yet heard. Yes, yes. Anything heard? Heard about Devara? Yes, yes. Yeah, I did uh, with the safe. For a lot of days I was with the safe. He's very good, cold guy. Uh, I feel like my favorite song in 2023 and 2024. Okay, okay. Just one second. Ah, yes. 
my favorite song uh, in the recent times has actually not been something that has been re released recently, but something that's an all-time classic. Tere mere milan ki ye rana O naya koi gul khilayegi Naya koi gul khilayegi Tabhi to chan chal hai tere nena Dekho na Dekho na tere mere milan ki ye rana uh, Of course, I feel like it's such a lovely, grand uh, celebration. Uh, would you like me to keep the boom down? Niche rakho? No? Okay. Uh, I feel I feel such a lovely, grand celebration of Indian cinema on such an international, grand stage. Uh, I love that Indian cinema is being celebrated this way across so many different languages and so many artists. And I feel Indian, not just Indian cinema, any cinema is the labor of love of so many artists coming together, so many departments, uh, and so many dreams coming together to create something so beautiful. Uh, and I love the fact that artists and art and the magic of cinema is being celebrated this way. And I'm so happy to be here and be a part of it. Uh, I'm, I'm such a fangirl. I don't think words will ever, ever, ever embody what I really feel. Uh, every single time uh, I've had the honor and the joy of working with Rahman sir has been just so much more than a dream come true. And especially being a part of the magical, legendary combination uh, of all the magic that happens in uh, the A.R. Rahman and Mani Ratnam universe. I don't know if you've seen those t-shirts that say that there's a Venn diagram and, you know, where one lives in the intersection of these worlds. Uh, and, you know, being a 90s kid, this is the staple that I grew up on. Uh, so it's, it's so much more than a dream come true. And I'm so happy to uh, be a small part of the universe of magic that these two incredible legendary artists create every time thank you